Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Morals and Minutes. I am Muhammad Ali and today we will talk about the driving etiquette. In the religion of Allah, Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed for us laws that cover both. Laws to do with the religion itself, permissible and non-permissible acts, as well as laws that cover everyday's actions. When we apply for a license, we must take specific exams that test the individual of he or she understands the laws of the road. The laws on the road cover several categories such as signage, pavement markings, reaction time, driving, etiquette, right of way for pedestrians, etc. From these categories is one very important category which is driving etiquette. This cover the akhlaq, etiquette, one is to have whilst driving on the road. It is important for the driver to respect the road and whomever on the road. We notice constantly that there are some drivers who use the horn to forcefully move the driver in front of them. Tailgate, move lanes in a dangerous fashion and cut the driver. These dangerous actions are also a cure with the respect to pedestrians. A pedestrian has the right of the way must be respected and not cut off. Henceforth, laws have been placed in several countries deeming this action under dangerous careless driving which may result in warnings, fines and suspension. Now, the viewer may ask, what does Islam have to do with this? The answer lies in this eloquent yet simple narration which is narrated on the authority of Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, he said, It is one of the oppressive characteristics when one who is riding forcefully takes the right of way of pedestrian or another rider. This narration in all its eloquence show you what Islam truly is. It shows you that Islam has established these laws 1400 years ago and has forced them as a part of the Sunnah, traditions and actions of the Holy Messenger, peace be upon him and his family, and has concluded that those who don't observe the etiquette of proper driving, for they have an oppressive, cruel characteristics. The narration can be expanded to all categories of the road, as well as to drive a car or even walking. Let us follow these golden teachings and continue to strive to show the world, not just by words but by actions, that this is Islam. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Muhammad and his holy progeny and may we all observe these teachings. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.